I don't want to be the governor who holds my little granddaughter's hand as I walk down the aisles of Walmart or Target or Roses to the toy center and have to pass shelves and shelves of liquor. Thursday, Governor Purdue told the North Carolina Association of County Commissioners she wants to keep the status quo in the state's alcoholic beverage control system. The main reason is money. I don't believe the juice is worth the squeeze. Purdue had a consulting firm review the system, and she says in order to make privatization financially feasible, the state would have to open liquor sales to all the stores already selling beer and wine. According to the North Carolina Alcoholic Beverage Control Commission, the system kicked more than $275 million into state and local governments last fiscal year. Governor Purdue said recent scandals in Wilmington, Greensboro, and Charlotte cannot be tolerated. John Williams, chairman of the state commission, said new laws passed last year require local boards receive training on ethics and business. They should be leaving that classroom with a common understanding uh, of what's acceptable and what's not. Applause from county commissioners met Purdue's announcement of keeping alcohol sales in government's hands. The president of the North Carolina Association of County Commissioners said it's the right thing. I'm very pleased with the decision the governor made. I think it was the right decision. Uh, clearly this discussion will continue out there. The privatization conversation will continue into next week when Republicans take control of the General Assembly. Incoming Speaker of the House Tom Tillis said he wants to review the governor's data before deciding how to proceed. He also said that public-private partnerships are important for making government more affordable. Democrat Representative Pryor Gibson says a privatization bill is still possible. The likely Republican President Pro Tem, Senator Phil Berger, says he remains open to privatizing the ABC system, but it should not be part of balancing the state's $3.5 billion budget deficit. For CarolinaJournal.tv, I'm Anthony Greco.